So we are out here today at the lake house for a family work bee. So wait. Holy crap! <laughs> like in the house. Maybe we should close that door. <laughs> Maybe. So as I was saying, <laughs> we're out here for a family work bee. I could do every spring and we've got our work cut out for us because the lawn is looking pretty rough. Uh, fail on the part of the lawn tools for that. But Pop Tools bringing out a trailer full of mulch. Gonna trim some trees, some shrubs, gonna mow. Got a little dethatcher to pull behind a four wheeler out here. So we got a different dethatcher. Went to Lowe's on the way out here and got a pull behind dethatcher that rolls along the ground because the Zoysia maintenance guide, I guess is what it would be called, from Clemson University recommended that the spacing on dethatcher tines for Zoysia be two to three inches and my power rake is like no spacing. I guess Zoysia is not a big fan of that so you want to space them out a little bit more and it's actually a dethatcher with the spring loaded tines. So we've got mulch to spread, bushes to trim, trees to trim, what else? I guess grass to mow. Hey, tool! We got a lot of work to do. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The Zoysia maintenance guide that I read from Clemson University said that the tines should be spaced more like two to three inches for Zoysia. It doesn't like to be beat up quite like Bermuda, so we're gonna take it easy. Zoysia? Again. There's Zoysia here? Zoysia. We don't know what type of Zoysia, but uh, this is Zoysia Grace, as Alan Hain would say. Hey, you know, everybody else is working. You're just over here, uh... Tinkering. This thing right here, whatever this bush is, might look kind of cool, maybe that's sort of pretty, but that smells terrible. That's actually me. <laughs> I mean, we are really getting a lot done over here without you. I, uh... Should have brought a drill, but... Oh, I got a drill. You're lying. No, I brought, I brought all the drill stuff. Well, I was here thinking that I was the idiot, but you're the idiot and idiots are dumb. Nobody told me you needed a drill. I'll go get it. You know what happens when you assume. No, tell me. You look like an idiot. And idiots are dumb. No, with like sockets. That sock it's. It is assembled. Now for operation. Regular removal of thatch is critical to maintenance of a healthy lawn. Da doy. Excessive thatch prevents air, water, and fertilizer from reaching the roots. The dethatcher effectively dislodges excessive thatch from your lawn. Read these instructions to help avoid improper adjustment and operation. Throw those out. We're the lawn it's tool. Not the lawn tool way.
so it's actually not doing a horrible job. Uh, we may need to make a couple passes, but we're definitely pulling stuff up. I don't know if you can really see great. Uh, I'm trying to think if I can get an angle here where you can see how much stuff I'm pulling up. But those things are digging down a decent amount. Like I said, I think I might need to do multiple passes. I might do two directions. I might go over everything in two directions and see where that gets us. Um, but I think especially after we go over this with a mower, I think it's going to look pretty good found these stepping stones these little tiles leaning up against the shed over there and the weight i think making it a little bit heavier is going to help not the weight's not really making the tines go down any farther it's just keeping it from bouncing quite as much so a little bit heavier i think should help out a little bit So I think this thing's doing a pretty good job. Uh, some cinder blocks for up here and we'd be set. But we're making do, it's working. Pulling up a bunch of junk, like breaking up pine needles and stuff too, but digging out a ton of thatch. So I think this is, I think it's working pretty well. So I will say, I don't know how much the camera is picking up for how much that rake, dethatcher rake, is picking up, but this thing is filling up way faster than we normally do. I've been mowing out here for like three years, and over the front, for example, you usually can make like three passes around kind of the outer edge. This one, this time I did one, and my uh, bags were completely full, so it's picking up quite a bit. It's good. It's impressive. I, it doesn't look like that thing works very well. Like it looks, it looks very cheap. My camera guy's not talking to me at all. <laughs> He's the one that bought it. I don't know how cheap it was. I agree. 120 bucks ish. 120, 130, something oh. like that. Yeah. That's it's not super. Which is cheap. cheap. Well, compared oh. to like a power rake like mine. I mean, I got yeah. mine for a couple hundred bucks, but that was a steal. You stole it. What do you think? Nice mower. <laughs> folks i think that's about all she wrote the place is looking a ton better and the wind is still gusting a little bit but if it dies down here before we leave i might try to throw down some pre-emergent because i brought my sprayer but uh, i don't know if i'll get to because it's gusting just a little bit so but anyway that'll kind of close us out so i guess i'll catch you later lawn tools Thank you.